Hi everyone, my name is Aditi. Welcome to Aditi TV, where we talk about marketing, leadership, and intuition to help you build a life in business that is true to you, gets seen, and gets paid. So today we're talking about revenue goals. You'd be surprised how many people don't map out their revenue goals and you guessed it, it is very much correlated with your marketing plans for this year. So whether you are building revenue goals for 12 months at a time, six months, or maybe even the next month, it's very, very important to make sure you do these steps to really break it out to help you map out what it is that you're gonna be selling so you know exactly what to be promoting with your marketing where I come in as well. So super excited to show you guys how all of that is gonna play, but let's get started right now. I'll be the first to admit that I myself did not do the revenue mapping activity until four months into my business. Four months. Yeah, a long time. So I don't want you guys to make that same mistake that I made so you guys can get started right now and get to your revenue mapping. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a revenue goal. How much money is it going to take for your business to sustain itself? At, at the very bare minimum, how much money is it gonna need to make to sustain itself? Then you can even go into deeper stuff where you can have maybe a comfy goal and maybe even a stretch goal. My coach always says, if you haven't hit your 100K yet in your business, start by mapping out a full 100K so you can see what it's gonna take to make that revenue in your business this year. So the second thing you want to do is list out all of your business products, services, etc. Basically all the ways that your business makes money. If you're just starting out, start with at least three, maybe up to five. If you have more, you can add it in as well. But otherwise, just start with where your money comes in from now. And if you already have that laid out from last year, then bring it in this year to help you map out this year's goal as well. Third, what you wanna do is decide how much of the quantity that you need of each of those products and services so it can add up to your revenue goal. How many of X are you gonna to have to sell? How many of Y are you gonna to have to sell? Lay it out all down the line. Now, I created a revenue mapping worksheet for you where I literally mapped all this stuff out for you. So you just need to plug in your numbers and see it auto calculate. So wait till the end of the video and I'll give you guys the link for that as well. Let's get into an example. So let's do two examples. One example will be a service based business. The second example will be a product based store. So for the first business, I call it Liz's Hi-Fi Health Coaching. So with her health coaching business, her revenue goal is $50,000. Now, what is the different ways that her business makes money? The first one is through one-on-one -on -one individual client coaching. The second one is through online health courses that she teaches and creates. And the third one is through digital products that she creates on her website that people can buy directly without her even having to do anything. Cool, right? I love me digital products. And when you map it all out, now I'm gonna look at a spreadsheet here and I have this all written down for you guys so you guys can see this visually for yourself. I have it all mapped out with the examples too. All right, so online course, she'd need to sell 20 spots at $1,000 each to make $20,000. She'd need to sell 15 spots of her one-on-one -on -one individual coaching in order at $1,500 in order to make $22,500. She would need to sell 750 of her digital product sales at $10 each to get it to $7,500. Now, if you total this all up, it hits, guess what? $50,000. This activity is going to do a few things for you. One, it might shake you to your core and freak you out. And that's exactly what this is supposed to do. 
because it's important for you to really see realistically what exactly what the numbers look like right and the numbers you can play around with it if you're still playing around with your prices you can play around with different price points and different numbers to see where you would prefer to be spending your time versus not so this is about you too not only are we serving the customer with exactly what they need to help them but you're also working with what's best for you as a business owner and what is most aligned with your values and your philosophy. Okay, so now the second example, a product-based business. I called it a vegan product store named Clean Bubba. That was just the first thing that came to me. Fun fact, I used to have a turtle named Bubba. It ran away. Think about that for a second. All right, so the three ways this company makes money is through products and retail. Okay, so body butter, soaps, body washes, all of that kind of stuff, 100% vegan. Second way this company makes money is through having soap making classes on site. The third way this company makes money is through offering corporate swag bags. Swag bags with the assortment of fun, amazing vegan products. All right, now if this company has a revenue goal of $500,000 for 12 months, right? It's gonna have to sell 6,000 products at a $15 rate to get $90,000. It's gonna have to sell 100 class spots at $100 each to get $10,000. And then last but not least, those corporate swag bags. I kinda want me one, even though I imaginarily made this up. 20,000 quantity which is totally doable with corporate settings, at $20 a pop, and it's $400,000 of revenue. Almost all of the revenue, that was your goal of $500,000. Now, if you guys want the revenue mapping worksheet, you're gonna head over to mybrandvoice.com slash revenue map. You're gonna be able to download the revenue map worksheet plus i created an extra bonus video in that bonus video i go a little bit more in depth with the revenue mapping to help you guys out all right so let me know if you have any questions let's do this i'm totally gonna do a q a and i want to answer your questions so please go ahead and post any of your questions below and let's get into it all right hope you guys enjoyed today's episode it, I would love it if you subscribe, like, or share if you enjoy the content and would like some more. And I will catch you guys soon. Don't forget to grab your revenue mapping worksheet. Bye, guys.